Now, there's another kind of application in which it's natural to write down an equation with both variables on the same side. And that's an application in which we naturally know the x and y intercepts. In order to give this example, we need a little bit of vocabulary. Depreciation is a business idea where, as far as accounting goes, the value of a piece of equipment decreases over time. And the reason that businesses do this is they know that they'll eventually have to replace all of their equipment, and they want to explain in their account books where that money went. That money went into the depreciation of the equipment. The simplest way to model depreciation, that is the simplest way to describe it mathematically, is just using a linear equation. So the value of the equipment over time is described with a linear equation. So how do we do this? Suppose a business buys a new copy machine for $1,800, and they estimate that the machine will fully depreciate. That means its value will drop to zero in six years. In this problem, our variables are V, the value of the machine, and T, the number of the years since the machine was bought. Now, in this application, there is an obvious independent and dependent variable. The independent variable is the time. Because if you say, I'm going to let three years pass after I buy this copy machine, the way that you do that is you get a calendar for three years from now and you circle the day on it. And when that day comes, you say, OK, that happened. Whereas if you say, I want to wait till the value of this copy machine is $300, you have to do some calculations to figure out when that'll happen. Right, so t is the independent variable. And v, then, is the dependent variable. The information given to us in this story is telling us about the intercepts of our equation. It says when t equals 0, when they've just bought the copy machine and no time has passed, v equals 1800. So that says the ordered pair 0, 1800 will be a solution to our equation. And it says when t equals 6, v equals 0. So 6, 0 will be another solution to our equation. We can write down this equation in that form that we get from the intercepts. So a times my independent variable plus b times my dependent variable equals those two numbers multiplied together. What are my a and b? The value of v when t is 0 that's my a. And the value of t when v is 0, that's my b. My equation is going to be 1800 t plus 6v equals 1800 times 6, or working out what 1,800 times 6 is, 10,800. 1,800t plus 6v is 10,800. Notice we were able to just directly write down that equation without having to do any calculations except for that, that basic multiplication directly from the story.